artificial intelligence. We never thought that it will be possible. But nowadays, that artificial intelligence will be able to help us in our lives and our occupations. We met with the experts on the topic of artificial intelligence. They gave us an answers to some of the most asked questions. There are artificially intelligent systems. There are robots that can, for example, analyze your facial expression and understand a little bit of what type of emotion you are express expressing. But that is still different from kind of having a conversation. We still think that the key elements of a journalist's work still need to be there for the human, for the journalist to do. All we're trying to do, or AI should do, is um, help and you know, encourage them and empower the journalists in order to uh, come up with new ideas, creative ideas, uh, in order to be more effective in writing news stories. There are opinions that artificial intelligence is possible to replace people in journalism. Here's how the experts respond to these assumptions. Uh, I think the answer for a long time to come will be uh, no, because uh, there are a lot of things that artificial intelligence cannot do um, yet. If it will replace it, you mean? Yeah. Um, no, no, I don't <laughs> think it will replace it. And that's why we approach it differently. In addition to enhancing the creativity of journalists, artificial intelligence also helps in the battle with fake news. That's, that's definitely possible. Actually, yesterday I was reading a story that basically told that at this moment um, it's still quite easy for an AI system to detect fake news, but as we also heard in, in the previous talks, it's a kind of arms race between people making fake news and people detecting fake news. Artificial intelligence is already here. And we are particularly in that place to meet it. Come with us. I believe very much in the concept of robots uh, being, an, uh, being an addition to humans, doing things that humans are not very good at. I don't think that it's a danger in itself. I think it will, I mean, if robots are able to think more like people, it makes it easier to cooperate with robots. But I do think that we need to give these robots ethical norms, ethical values that they shouldn't do. It's all about mm, making sure that uh, you guide the journalist into the right direction rather than uh, write the story for him because it will never work. So creative tools, creative, creative think, creativity tools should encourage creative thinking so it should help the journalist to see a new story or to see um, topics within the new stories and see how this could be used in order to write something about that topic. Without education, there is no innovation. So don't be afraid to meet artificial intelligence in your life.